there, it's Michelle from Kansas City. I am really excited that you're here because I feel truly inspired to share this message with you today. And the reason why is I was given a message today on two separate occasions that were the same message. And so I feel truly inspired to share that with you. And what that message is, is I was told that I am meant to be a leader and that I can absolutely change the world. Now, if you don't think that you can change the world or if you're not meant to be a leader, you need to get that out of your head right now because if you're watching this video, you are meant to be a leader and you absolutely can change the world. I'm going to show you how by three simple steps, okay? What you need to do is in order to change the world or the environment, you need to focus on yourself. And I know you've heard this before, but I'm going to show you, tell you what you need to do in order to focus on yourself and how that can change the world. You need to consistently, number one, you need to consistently be studying. Number two, you need to be consistently learning. And number three, you need to be consistently taking action. And what that's doing is that's creating a that's creating a light inside of you. And as you are continuously studying, learning, and taking action, that light is getting brighter. And what I want to do is I'm going to liken that to a lighthouse. Okay. Now I'm sure you've heard of what a you know what a lighthouse is, but a lighthouse is on the side of an ocean or inside of the sea. And usually it will notify ships that are out in the ocean, usually up to 20 miles out, where, they, where they're located. And it's usually a warning if it's close to treacherous waters. And in certain situations, though, whenever there's a, there's a tight channel or there's um, certain areas where a ship needs to navigate where it's really tight, there's a certain situation where there's going to be a second light. And what that second light does is the ship needs to make sure that the main light and the second light are lined up correctly in order to navigate properly. Okay, now I want you to think of yourself as that lesser light. And as you are on that journey and as you're on that channel, as you get off course a little bit, that lesser light will tell you which direction you need to go. So if the lesser light's to the left, you need to navigate a little bit to the right so that they line back up, okay? So as you're continuously studying, as you're continuously learning, and as you're continuously taking action, you are affecting the environment and you're affecting the world. And what it does is like a circle and in turn, it affects you. And as that affects you and you get you become a bigger person, it will affect the environment, those people around you, and that will affect you. And it's like a circle, okay? So when you think of though the lighthouse example, um, I want you to think of, you always wanna stay course, you always wanna continuously be moving forward and you wanna get to your destination, okay? And I like to think of the, the crashing waves or, you know, the treacherous times or during the times in your life whenever you not, might be feeling very confused and you you wonder where you're meant to be or what you're meant to be doing. I want you to think that, you know, as long as you're continuously doing those three things, studying, learning, and taking action, your light's going to get brighter and you are going to affect those around you, which is going to change the world. And I want to read you a poem, actually. It's quite powerful. And I do have to put my readers on for this, so I apologize. All right, here we go. All right. Brightly beams our Father's mercy from his lighthouse evermore. But to us, he keeps the keeping of the lights along the shore. Dark the night of sin has settled. Loud the angry billows roar. Eager eyes are watching longing for the lights along the shore. Trim your feeble lamp, my brother. Some poor sailor tempest tossed. Trying now to make the harbor in the darkness may be lost. Let the lower lights be burning. Send a gleam across the wave. Some poor, fainting, struggling seamen you may rescue, you may save. I really think that as you continue to uh, focus and work on yourself, you are going to affect those around you. And there's going to be like seamen that are out there um, that are... Uh, that are going to feel like they're in a tempest tossed situation. And as you are continuously working on yourself, you're going to set a good example. Your light's going to shine brighter and you are going to affect the world. So you are meant for greatness. I really appreciate you watching this video and leave me a comment or let me know you're here. Thanks. Bye-bye.